Hello everyone and welcome. This video is number 12 in my course Python for Complete Beginners. So in this video we are going to make a revision on what we have studied in this course and we will make try to make a guessing game guessing console game with two levels hard and easy level. So, so we will start I have make a new file which is guessed by so we will start here to define our global variables we will use a lot the random uh, function and we will that we have game on as none and also we have guesses as none and also we have secret as none so we have initialized three variables game on as none guesses as none and the secret as none we will define two levels level level as easy and we will define for function level as hard and also we will define start game function and we will define play again function after all we will start the start the game so we will start by typing the start game function so we have global 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 of game game on and we will say that this game on as true so we w uh, to use this variable which is global w w this variable has defined outside the function to use this variable inside the function you must say that this variable as a global after that we has assigned that's true th uh, which means while it's true it will start at level easy and level hard let's this that we will take an input from the user welcome choose let's see to the user choose easy or hard or or quit or exit and the user will take any choice from this easy or hard or quiet after that if the level will be easy so if the level will be easy we will level easy and run this function elif or else if level will be hard so the user so the user has has chosen the hard level so we will say level of hard and else level or elif level level will be quit so so game on will be false while game on will be false so this game will not uh, so this game will finish and we can print at the same time uh, a message is let's say good luck see you next time or anything any thing so uh, we have completed the start game function let's try to play again how to write 
so it's uh, very similar to global it's uh, very similar to, uh, similar to start game but there is the same the same process we will define that we have variable game on and this game on will be false uh, will be true first to start and we have the choice or ch will be row input do you want to play again choose yes or no so after that if the choice ch will be yes in lower case we will let's stay stay uh, let's say start game let's say start game and after that else or elif if we say elif we must see that choice will be no if we say else we will uh, uh, delete this uh, this phrase so after that we will say that game on will be false and print something for the user let's say thank you for playing thank you for playing see you next time or anything like that so we have completed the play again and give start game so how to make the core of this game which is the level easy and the level hard if we have make the level easy it's very similar to the level hard so we will define a secret so this secret I will discuss in detail how that or how, how, that, uh, how this level will work but I will write this first secret will be integer of we will choose this random dot rand range of 1 or 0 to 100 so we will global here not so global secret to use the secret which is has been defined outside the function we will uh, we must uh, define it again inside the function as a global to use it or to define a new value inside this function so we will say that secret is any number inside the, uh, the, uh, the computer or the memory will guess any number from every time you play every time the user will play will guess a number from 0 to 100 and this number may be 50, 100, 99, anything so while, while, while we have true what is true is the game on while game on will be true we will say So uh, uh, we will say guess uh, for the user. We will uh, say for the user input number, but we ha we are working with number, and if the user input a string, we must convert this by saying row input. Row input, enter, enter any number between zero to one hundred. And we must convert all the frauds to integer like that. And if guess greater than secret, so print your number is too high try try again elif elif guess smaller than secret we will say for the user print your your number is too low try again Elif guess is the same as the secret 
so we will print for the user you win and play play again play play again and we have successfully make our easy level you can now start by typing level hard so what is this, the difference between level hard and level easy in this level easy we give the user unlimited chances to guess the number but in the level hard we give him only three times to uh, to play after that he lose and he should start from the beginning so we will say that we have global 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 secret and global guesses and guesses guesses will be three so for i in range in range from in range of three so and we must take a choice from the user let's say the first we must say that the secret will be inside of uh, outside the for loop will be integer of random dot uh, dot rand range random range of 0 and 100 and so guess will be as the same row input row input list enter we we say the to the player enter number and that's is the message w which will be shown to the user and if the i will be two we will print print game over game over good luck or you lose anything to show that he has lose the game and after that we will play again play again and if elif if guess is more than the secret we will print your number is too high try again and if else if guess is less than secret we will print we will print your number is too low try again and elif guess will be the same as the secret we will print for the user your number or you you win you win and play again we will play again so we have completed all the level level hard level easy and so we have completed all the game so let's give it a try inside the shell we will change directory this is the directory where I have saved the file and change directory to this file and we can now we can now we can now run my Python we I name the file guess.py feel free to name it as you want and hit enter welcome choose easy or hard or quiet easy there is something wrong 
so you must know I am using Python version 2.7 and if you are using Python Python 2.7 or Python 2 you must use raw input you must raw, uh, use this function raw input and if you are using Python 3 or Python 3.4.5 you can use input directly uh, and uh, you can ignore the raw so let's uh, try this inside the shell uh, e choose easy or hard I will choose the easy level enter number number is let's say 5 number is too low let's try again 50 number is too low let's try again it's too low it's too low it's too low it's too high too is too high and you win so the number was uh, 83 do you play do you want to play again let's say yes start by hard level enter number 50 too high to 5 too high 20 and you lose do you want to play again no good luck and that was the game which we has built inside Python I hope you enjoyed this video if you like this video you can go to my channel on YouTube this is my channel and give a subscribe to this channel and leave a follow in this my page on Twitter if you liked this video and see you in the 13 video in this course